This is a lead arm swing into an impact bag with a push. So really what it becomes, really what it is, is a, a dynamic golf specific chop pattern. Um, and you may have done chops and lifts in, with med balls or cables or bands or whatever. This is just a, a variation of a chop lift pattern, but it's very specific to golf pattern or golf context. So again, we uh, cue the lower body with the ball. We hold the club in our left arm, our left hand, lead hand. We hold our right, our trail arm up, down pointing into the target zone. Take the club back, get our hand on the um, shaft, rather than gripping it, get it on the shaft like this. So it looks, it's gonna be like, you're gonna think of it as a, a chop pattern, right? So a chop, chop movement, right? We can uh, pull and then press across. We can pull, press across, and there's a lot of variations of that. We're gonna do the same kind of basic pattern, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna swing back, swing back, grab the club, and swing forward. So it's a dynamic chop. We don't have to swing hard. We're not trying to blast the bag. We're not looking for power out of this. We're looking for pattern. So what this does is this starts to force us to anchor the thoracic. So we've started to learn now we, we got to anchor the pelvis to move the thoracic. Then we have to anchor the thoracic to move the extremities in the club. So what this does is, is as you push the club, you anchor the torso. You anchor the thoracic to move the extremities in the, in the club. So, but what also happens is because of the pattern of the chop, you're gonna shift weight into the lead side, stabilize on the lead side to be able to deliver the club into the impact bag. And these can be done <coughs> at like literally no speed because you're working on the pattern. So you're just working on this. You wanna feel like, you don't wanna be here where your torso's turned open because then everything's working together. What you wanna do is you want to stabilize the upper torso and let the arms work away from the body. Now again, this isn't your golf swing. You're not trying to swing the club like this. You work on the swing separate, but these are fundamental movement patterns using anatomy appropriately as, as first a mobility device or an acceleration device, right? Accelerate, then as a stability device or a deceleration device to accelerate the next segment. That happens regardless of swing style and things you're doing in your swings. So you need to have that fundamental pattern. And the, the, the biggest problem most people have is not moving it, but decelerating it. So most of us move everything, and we don't get good segmental coordination, so we lose out on power, but we also lose out on consistency, because then we'll lose the club angles, we'll have to you know, either back up or slide forward, we'll do other things to get the club face down. So now we're losing not only power, but consistency of movement, efficiency of movement overall. So again, this pattern is very simple. Hold the left, uh, uh, the lead arm, draw back to a position where you're holding this, so you're basically coming back, and then just pushing into the bag, nice and easy. You're basically just pushing, holding this, and, and accelerating this, okay? Very simple exercise. It's a modified chop with a, with a golf swing uh, action.